What's up, everybody? My name's Adam Glick. We're out here filming my new cooking show, Outdoors, Nothing But Nature. And that's the way we were supposed to eat. Most of my work has been based on boats for very high-end clients. And being able to come outdoors and just light up a fire, with a, it's like a dream come true to me. So forget the expensive restaurants and follow our outdoor adventures and come experience it in the wild with me, over a campfire with your best friends. Being able to go get a quick surf in Westport, it was a little chilly, I gotta admit, but at the end of the day, the big raw energy of the Pacific Ocean, it really comes out in Washington. So for this episode, we've got Chaz Gudemon out here, Olympic snowboarding professional. The guy rips. Oh, look who made it. What's up, man? What's up, Chaz? How you doing, man? Good to see you. Good to see you, too. Dude, Looking you see good and cold. Just a couple little and... peelers. Yeah. Hope you brought a thick wetsuit. Yeah, for sure. Dude, I was thinking maybe we cook up a little breakfast and go out for a surf. What do you think? Super down. Can't go wrong, right? Well, I feel like the most classic thing you can have for a bunch of surfers on the beach is a breakfast burrito. I mean, come on. I went to school in San Diego, so. For breakfast burrito, we got cooked down sausage, cilantro, tomatoes, onions, jalapenos all the things for salsa and Mexican food just wrapped up into a tortilla scramble. There it is. See that? My other one's perfect, ready to roll. I mean, I know you snowboard, but what's the, what's the story with that? How'd you get into it? Skateboarding and snowboard, I've been doing it for like 23 years, so. Oh, so you skate too? Yeah. All right. And it's just addicting. And it kept me out of trouble in school and then uh, provided a life for me. I've just been super lucky, so. Right on. So, man, I was thinking, um, you know, maybe we'll go out and get a couple of these waves because it looks so fun. A little Northwest adventure. So I've got a friend up in Lillewap. Yeah. It's just right up the Olympic Peninsula here. He's got an oyster farm that is the most epic place you've ever seen in your entire life. So we go shuck some fresh oysters, throw them on the grill. I love it. I'm all about it. So Adam James is a fourth generation Hama Hama oyster farmer. If you could take the Pacific Northwest and embody it into one human, it's Adam. Amazing. Got your fire wedge. It's so good to see yeah. you. Yeah. Yes. Tell me what we're looking at. Uh, it's a, a doe black tail deer, it's probably again. two years old. And in the state of Washington, you can hit a deer and keep it. As long as you report it to Fish and Wildlife within 24 hours. So you just find the bone and keep running along it, right? Yep. It's kind of like filleting a fish. All right, let's giddy up. The Hama Hama Farm grows two types of oysters, classic beach-grown Hama Hamas and tumble-farmed blue pools. With their beds located at the mouth of one of the coldest, shortest, and least developed rivers in Washington state, it's no surprise these oysters embody the crisp and unique flavor of the Pacific Northwest. So we're out on the uh, Hama Hama shed. Oysters are fully grown right now. We're going to pull some up. Maybe we can grab a few, cook them up for dinner later tonight. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Got her. Oh, just, just up there at the grapple. Yeah, man. Thanks. Getting it. Getting it. Just, it feels so good it's to awesome. be out here catching your dinner. I mean, that's exactly what we're doing. We're harvesting from the local ocean. Yeah. And we're going to light up a fire and cook it later. There they are. Fresh oysters ready for the pick. So I'm thinking we'll take that loin up to the top of that mountain over there. We'll lower it into a fire, yeah. OK? Roast it up real beautiful. Then we'll slice medium rare slices and put them on top of a fresh blue pool oyster and have surf and turf. I trust you. Right, and one of these days you'll take me snowboarding and chuck me off a ledge yeah, or something. Yeah, there we go. Not bad, right? This place is insane, man. We're looking at Hood Canal across the Mount Rainier. Come up here and see Seattle in the distance. So Hood Canal, yeah, got Mount Rainier. Yeah, it's actually a saltwater fjord, and that's where we farm our oysters. 
some grilled oysters, slow opened, hit with a compound butter and a little medium rare venison laid across the top, boom, that's outdoor food. Surf and turf to the max right here. You know, the other thing about Adam is he is incredibly intelligent local, and that's the kind of person you want on a chef's adventure. One beautiful thing about the Pacific Northwest is it can provide you with everything you need for an extravagant meal. But we don't need the table, we don't need the silverware, all we need is a campfire and some really good friends. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> work on the name. <laughs> but, uh...